All right, Britt, thank you. A local Indianapolis proposal to ban right turns on red lights in downtown, the core especially, is now in jeopardy. It's after one state lawmakers decided to step in. Cameron Riddle is live downtown Indy with more on why the city says the ban is needed and why the state senator is trying to stop it. Cameron? Freeman gets his way, the city of Indianapolis will have to come up with a new plan to reduce pedestrian crashes. He says the city's proposal to ban cars from turning right on red is flat out stupid. I proudly will say it. I'll put it on a coffee mug. I'm all for local government until it's stupid, and that is stupid. Senator Freeman added an amendment to a House bill stopping the City County Council from passing any such ordinance that would limit Indianapolis drivers from turning right on red when downtown. A DPW traffic study showed nearly 57% of pedestrian accidents in downtown over the last five years happened with cars turning and not yielding to people crossing. Pedestrian safety advocates say stopping right turns on red will save pedestrian lives, while Freeman says the focus needs to be on correcting bad driver behavior. Uh, we need more traffic enforcement. Uh, we need more people to be aware of their driving. Put the phone down. Don't consume alcohol. Don't be high on marijuana. I would hope that we could all agree that everyone should be able to cross a street with the walk signal and not be fearful of getting hit. The Indianapolis City County Council is expected to vote on the proposal in May, and if passed, drivers then would not be able to turn right on red. However, this all could be short-lived. If Freeman gets his way over at the State House and this bill passes into law, well, it will then overrule the city's ordinance come July 1st. Live downtown this morning, I'm Cameron Riddle, Fox 59 News.